hello there this is ahobiwom and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you already know how it is thank you so much for stopping by again to watch another video so guys we are almost on 5k subscribers and this is all thanks to you for always tuning in week after week and subscribing and just being here on my channel i am so grateful for the growth on this channel and this is all because of you so today guys we're going to be talking about studying nursing in poland so let's jump into the gist for today so guys i'm going to first of all start by talking about the requirements like i always do of course studying nursing in poland is uh, requires almost the same amount of documents as studying any other course but I would still run through these requirements because I have to okay so the first document that we would be talking about today is going to be your legalized high school certificate so this is your legalized high school document so for West Africans it could be YEC, it could be NECO this is your YEC result or your high school diploma or high school certificate now in order to study nursing it's important for you to have really good scores in your basic science so i'm talking about having really good grades in math in uh, biology in physics and in chemistry because this contributes a lot to your getting admission in this particular field of study and here in poland um, nursing is three years so this is three years three uh, six semesters for this so this is like a bachelor's degree program so we need first of all your legalized document now when i say legalized i mean you need to take these documents to the ministry of either education or foreign affairs in your country but in nigeria you need to take it to both so both the ministry of foreign affairs and the ministry of education after which you would have a stamp at the polish embassy so when you're done with the ministries then you take it to the embassy so the polish embassy and the polish embassy would put a polish seal approving that these documents can be used in their own academic system here in poland the next requirement is going to be your passport so this is going to be your international passport make sure you have a passport that is valid for a longer period of time so if your passport is about to expire you do well to extend it uh, also, you would need your photograph. So a lot of universities have a particular dimension that they want your photographs to be in. So I cannot specifically tell you those dimensions because they vary according to the university. So you need this document as well. The next document that you would be needing is going to be your birth certificate. Some universities require you to have your birth certificate because most times a uh, bachelor's degree program people who are applying are usually less than 18 so it's mandatory for you to show your birth certificate and also to attach a consent form from your parents so some universities provide a form for you to print out and have your parents sign while some do not you just need to make one for yourself to give to them do you understand so yeah so the next uh, requirement that i will be talking about that you need to to use for this application is definitely your medical certificates so you need to go to a medical doctor or a hospital and have uh, some tests run on you and also generate a medical certificate some universities would put out a form on their application portal where you can download this form and also take it to the hospital and the doctor needs to sign on it while some other universities do not have this provision you just have to provide a medical document yourself uh, for studying medicine, some universities also put on the uh, criteria that you should be vaccinated for hepatitis B or you should be vaccinated for yellow fever. So they would also need to see these documents as well. The remaining documents that I will talk about is definitely your application form and your confirmation of payment for your application fee. So your application form is usually probably some universities have an application form that you need to download and fill out and then send back to them while some universities already have a digital way of doing it so they've created a portal for you you fill in your information and you would submit so this is your application form of course your confirmation for payments is just a document showing that you have paid the money from your bank or from whatever bank to their bank accounts 
and you would need to add all these documents. All these documents together would make up the documents that are required to apply for nursing in Poland. Now I'm going to talk about the universities that I'm going to give you some universities, I'm going to give you their links, I'm going to give you their emails, the time of applications and all of that stuff. So the first university that I will be talking about here today is the Medical University of Łódź or Lodz. <laughs> but in Polish that is pronounced as Medical University of Łódź. So the Medical University of Łódź, this university offers um, courses in English. So we have medicine, we have dentistry and we have nursing. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be focusing on the nursing so uh how much is the cost of this university so this university your tuition fee is 5700 euros per year and don't forget nursing is three years so you have to pay your tuition yearly so 5700 euros per year and that is only for your first year in your second year you then start to pay 5500 euros Per year the application fee is 120 euros as well which would be paid before or during before you get the admission so during your application process now what is the process involved of course like most Polish universities they have an online platform which you would go on there and I'll put the website on the screen and also in the description box guys always check the description box because I put a lot of information there so you would go on their website and when you get to, your, to their website you would need to create an online um, profile and on this online profile you would fill in your details and upload all your documents that are required and submit it there's usually an exam an entrance exam for this university so you would uh, fill out the documents and submit and the uh, the school would get back to you on the next steps and you just follow through like that i'll also be putting their email addresses to contact them as well it's always important for you to contact a university you're interested in because they would give you more details about their dormitories about their payment and any other thing that is important so it's always best to contact the university so i would also put their email address which you can contact them on and just ask for their applications, their applications are currently ongoing. So the application started here uh, in the month of March and um, it would go all the way to, I think, July. So if you're interested in studying nursing in that university right now is the time for you to go and start applying. The second university that I would be talking about is the Nicholas Copernicus University in Toronto. Uh, this university has nursing, it has medicine, it has a medical lab, and it has physiotherapy. But I'm going to be focusing on the nursing. Now, uh, this university is in Toronto, but it has other campuses in different cities. But for nursing, it's going to be in Bitgosh. I've already done a video about the city of Bitgosh, so do well to check it out. I'll put it up here so you could go and check what the city looks like if you're interested in this university. Now, this university is a very good university as well, and uh, their applications start in April, so that's when their applications would start. Uh, their process is pretty much the same as other universities, except that they have an examination. So um, the same documents, the same process so you go online you register and you submit your documents but they have an examination uh, before like during your application once you're done submitting your documents the next step would be they'll get back to you about an um, examination and now your scoring determines how well you do to get the admission so the score is usually on a scale of 0 to 100 and I think you need 65% that you need 65 to pass this examination and do not be afraid you already have when you have very good grades in your YEC sorry when you have very good grades in your high school docu uh, subjects so those core biological courses I spoke about when you have um, your medical certificate and when you've shown your proof of English. So yeah, some universities also require your proof of English, but this is for universities. This is only when your language uh, of instruction in your previous 
uh, schooling was not done in English or you're not a native speaker so you need to give them like an IELTS result or an English language test result so when they combine all this together plus the interview that you would have this would bring up your score and you would uh, if you get up to 65 you would get the admission the fees is 16,250 zwoti per semester this is about 3,500 euros per semester and yeah you pay your school fee in per semester not per year so uh, the website i would also put this on the screen you go on the website you uh, read a, a little about the university and you go ahead and fill they also have an application fee of 85 zwoti so this is the money that you would pay during your application so the third university that i will be talking about is the medical university of gidangs now this school is located in gidangs this also follows exactly the same process as every other school so you have to go on their website i would put it on the screen so you go on their website and you go ahead and apply this school also offers an entrance exam and their entrance exam is in two parts so they have the entrance exam for um, oral and they have entrance exam for written uh, so these both examinations together with your YF result will determine if you get the admission. I'm going to also put a link in the description box on how to calculate your score, like how the scoring works based on your high school certificates. So for each country, they have, uh, they have arranged the way they convert your grades from your high school results to their own system in order to check if you are eligible so you could just go look at your high school documents and look at the scoring according to your grades and determine what your score would be so when you put in your scores from your high school and you put in how you perform in the interview then you know that okay you stand the chance of getting admission to this university now do not forget guys you are in competition with some other guys so you have to bring your a game to your interview so study practice and get ready to go this university offers different courses as well in english so we have nursing we have pharmacy and we have medicine um their applications are open from the month of march and the cost of uh the tuition for nursing is eleven thousand five hundred a zwoti per semester so this is about two thousand four hundred and eighty euros per semester and you would need to pay another 3000 uh, zwoti as an orientation fee that is supposed to be paid after you've gotten the admission this is what happens there so yes guys uh i think that's all for this university the last university that i will be talking about today is vincent paul university this university is located in lublin this university has nursing it has cosmetology it has um, physiotherapy so these are the courses that are these are the medical related courses that are in this university in english um, now this university is one of the universities that a lot of people tend to go to because of course the pricing is less than other universities and for this university uh, the applications uh, are ongoing so the application starts in march as well all the way till august i think so the applications are open the uh, the cost the tuition for this university is 3300 euros and then you have an extra 200 euros for the enrollment fee or the application fee that you need to pay before so of course i would put the website on the screen and in the description box um uh, so you go check it out and um the entire process for applying is pretty much the same they don't have an entrance exam so fill out application and upload your details or your documents and the school will reach out to you by email and all of that stuff uh, for this university i know someone who goes there she even has a youtube channel where she talks all about studying nursing and her life here in poland and she's in lublin so you would definitely want to check her out if you're interested in this university so you connect with her and ask her questions and watch her entire video subscribe her name is rumbi rejoice on youtube and she has a lot of content about this so if you are interested in going to this university to study nursing or if you're interested in studying nursing at all in poland rumbi is your girl so go and subscribe to her channel and ask her whatever you want to ask her she has first-hand knowledge about this um so yeah 
don't forget to tell her that you came for me <laughs> okay guys so um i've spoken all about these universities and they are i think these are the the four universities that i've been able to come up with that do this nursing in english so feel free to pick an option and just choose and of course every city you know that every university is located in different cities so the location of the university also matters because as a student i know you would want to work and school so yes this is allowed even as a nursing student but you need to be aware that nursing is really bulky it's intensive uh, course because you need to go to the hospital and do your practicals and stuff like that but of course you can handle it so if you need a job as a student of course you're eligible to get a job as a student for your residence card and your residence permit is exactly the same i've spoken about it in a video if you're interested in studying medicine i have a video for it if you're interested in anything regarding studying in poland i'm your girl i have a video for it make sure to check all my videos out okay so um for nursing in poland just like nursing just like medicine you know that you're going to be practicing if you want to practice here it's important that you learn the language because your um your patients are locals they are polish locals and of course you need to communicate with them in order to do your job so if you're interested in courses like this my first my first my first my first I just want to stress it enough my first advice would be to make sure you learn the language of course your language of instruction is in English but because of practice for the purpose of practice you'd have to try to learn Polish and of course your certificate is valid you can take it in any other part of the world and practice your medicine based on their own um, process is there okay guys so I think I'm going to wrap up this video here thank you so much for uh, watching till the end do not forget to binge on all my other content do not forget to subscribe do not forget to comment do not forget to like do not forget to hit the notification bell so you do not miss any video from me do not forget to comment down below if you have video recommendations i'm open shoot at me i'm open i'm an open target so guys thank you very much i'll see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.